Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. And down here, there's also a sweet built-in messaging tool. If you ever have a question, comment, or a suggestion, you can click that button, add your information, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad friends i am in tinkercad and i've clicked on designs you will notice now that you can see your 3d designs circuits and code blocks all when you first launch tinkercad if you've never made a circuit or a code block i'm here to give you your first lesson friends the first step is to hit new and we want to make a code block our first step is to name it and we're going to name this disc and we're going to put holes Friends, this project is dedicated to show you why code blocks are pretty darn cool. Friends, we're going to start today by just bringing out a cylinder. Notice you just grab and drop. If you click the arrow, it gives its measurements. Friends, we're going to make this critter adjustable by going down to math and bringing out the variable item. Since this has a radius, we're going to rename it as R for radius. We're going to also bring out another one. You always want to start new with these. Don't ever duplicate it. And we're going to put in height. So rename, and I'm going to put just capital H. And then for later, I'm going to make one more variable, and I'm going to call it N. So rename, put my capital N, and hit OK. Let's type numbers out here. I'm going to put a 5 for the radius and a 2 for the height, and I'm going to make my variable N 10 for now. Friends, at this point, before we use the variables, let's hit play and let me show you what happens. So right here, this shape was drawn. Notice it has a height of 20 and a radius of 10. This measurement right here is 10 millimeters, so that's why the radius is doubled for a diameter of 20. It always builds at 0, 0. That's why half is below. We're going to raise this up to 0, 0 by moving to modify and choosing move. And then we want Z to be half of this height. So right now for this one, I'm gonna hit 10, just so you can see it happen. When we hit play again, boom, it's at zero, zero. Basics right there of code blocks. So everybody, this is where it gets cool. We're gonna move down to the data, and I want you to take this variable, and I want you to drop it in the radius hole. I want you to put the height in the height hole. For this Z, remember how it was half of the height to get to zero? We're gonna automate that with some math. Bring out the math operator. We're gonna put that height in the first box. We are going to switch to divided by, and if you put a two out here, it divides by two. Lift that up, and I wanna really emphasize this. A lot of people try and drop this corner in the hole. It won't work. See how it's lighting up that other hole? We've always got to use this corner in the hole we want to set it on. I always grab close to the math. Boom. Friends, now when we hit play, we have got a radius of 5. We've got that height of 2, and it automatically raised up to the height we want. Real quickly, see how there's edges right here? If we change the sides to 64 and hit play, it even looks a little bit nicer. You can even speed this up so the animation happens almost instantly. All right, friends, for the next part, here's where it's super cool. If I change this to 15 and hit play, boom, it does all that math for me. This is why code blocks are amazing. You can make what's called a parametric design where it grows based on the numbers you type. All right, everybody, now with our disk built, things start getting cool. Move to control and bring out a count with I. Now we don't want to go to 10. We want to go to the variable N. So drop that in that box so that way it's adjustable. We are going to move to shapes and bring out another cylinder. Once again, we're going to expand it and we're going to put it inside the block. This one's going to be a hole. We're going to calculate the size of this based on our other shape using a little bit of math. So bring out a math box and then bring out your variable R. So we're going to take the old radius and we're going to divide it by a number we choose. I'm going to put the number 7 in there. So 15 divided by 7 will give me something close to 2. 
When you lift this up, make sure you put this edge in this box. Notice if I come over here, it won't do it. You have to go past and then drop that edge in. I am also gonna compute the height. Let's bring out another chunk of math. I wanna make sure the hole pops out so that it can cut. So we're gonna do height. And I'm gonna do plus and I'm gonna put the number two. And I'm gonna drop that right there. I want my sides to be 64 just cause that's more round. If you hit play real quick, you'll see it's in the middle. I want to move these out. We are going to do that with a move command. I'm going to calculate it as well. This is where the more you calculate, the more it can be adjustable. We are going to use the variable R. And I want it to be 5 away. So I'm going to do R minus, which is the radius, and put a 5 right there. And then drop it in the move X box real quickly hit play you can see now it moves over here they're all in the same spot but we're gonna fix that super fast by creating a new variable called turn so once again bring out create change its name to turn and then this is going to be computed with a math block so notice I'm setting it out here and we're gonna make it divided by and we're gonna do 360 degrees which is an entire circle and we're going to divide it by n. No matter what we make n, that way this will adjust and you can drop it in the box. Friends, this is where it gets super cool. Bring out your rotate. Drop it underneath. We're going to keep it x, but we're going to put that little bit of math right down here, the variable i, and we're going to multiply that times that variable turn. Drop it in, pick it up, and then you want to put it in the 90 box. I'm also going to bring out a XYZ and drop it out here for the pivot. Friends, we are so close. The final step is we want to rotate around Z so it goes around. When you hit play, check it out. Evenly spaced holes all the way around your project. If you go back to modify and hit create group, bam. After it draws them, it cuts it out. How slick is that? That, my friends, is where Code Blocks is better than the traditional 3D design. Now, I've spent most of my time using typical 3D design, and I do absolutely love it, but there are times where this is more fantastic. Say instead you wanted eight holes, boom, when you hit play, it redoes the math and your project is ready to roll. We need to make one more adjustment to make this totally perfect. I want you to right click and duplicate that command and we wanna put it down here so our pegs raise up as well. Friends, watch this. Now if we put six and hit play, it makes it thicker yet still cuts out the holes. You can adjust everything so quick. I'm gonna go 26, hit play, totally different project. If I wanted this to be one, bam. It's just totally awesome how quick you can adjust your project because you made it with code blocks. Friends, I hope you had some fun with that lesson and you can see where code blocks are useful. They're not useful for everything you create, but when you find one where it is, it is absolutely epic. Friends, on my website here, of course, I have got my favorite five. These are the ones that I start with for beginners and then down below, you'll find more advanced ones as well. Remember also, if you have a question or a comment, you can always reach out by clicking that button, add your information, hit send, and I'll get it almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you've got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day